Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands, and I'd like to talk to you about a plant that is beautiful, and we enjoy seeing it, but it is a terrible invasive on this island. So when we do see it in the garden, we end up having to eliminate it. And it is this plant right here. This is Mexican coral vine, or coral creeper, and it is an amazingly beautiful, but an amazingly aggressive vine that will cover up literally acres upon acres. Now, why don't you see that much of it here in the garden? Because of course, we keep after it. Uh, now I wanna show you, it's also climbed up into the palm tree over here. And this plant makes little tubers as well as roots. And if you leave any bit of the plant in the ground, it will come back in mass and grow back on whatever it was. So inside this ruin that I'm standing next to here in the garden, I want to show you what it looks like as a baby. So right here, you can see the baby plants coming up right here. And they have this little heart-shaped, almost shovel-shaped little leaf. You see that, you know you've got trouble coming. So when we have to remove this plant, in an ideal world, it's small like this. You try to get hold of it and pull it up. Now, breaking off like this, that's not going to kill it. You have to get the roots that we're looking at here. And if you look, do you see this little round structure? That is a tuber. And th these plants make hundreds, if not thousands of these under the ground. And I don't care how much you pull, you're gonna leave some of these behind. The only way to kill this plant is to continuously pull it and cut it until the roots and the tubers starve. And that's constant work. Here in the garden, we have to come by the same place every month, month in and month out. And so you might wonder, how in the world we keep after a vine like this in the garden. Literally, once we've pulled it the first time, we're gonna to have to keep after it month in, month out, keep watching for every little shoot. Now this shoot's a little bigger, so that's a little easier to see, but you have to be watching for something this size, tiny, tiny little new starts. And each one of those is gonna to to be pulled to make sure we starve the root system out. And it takes a lot to do in a hedge like we're looking at here with this pinwheel jasmine, it could be growing inside the hedge and we don't see it till it comes out the top. By that time, it's got a huge amount of roots in here. So uh, an invasive species like that is very difficult to keep out of the garden, but we do our best. So remember, there are certain plants that you, beautiful though they may be, you don't want them in your garden. And uh, this is certainly one of them. And we're gonna show you what can happen if you let it go. So here we are in downtown Christiansted. And I want to show you what that lovely little coral vine can look like if you don't control it. And this is what the problem is with any invasive. So right now I'm going to have you look up the hill here and you can see that the vine has taken over steps, walls, buildings practically. And now if we swing down the other way, you're going to see how tall it is. It's taken over entire trees, etc. And one of the biggest problems is it's one species. You've taken what could be a diversity of things and gotten it down to one thing. And that's what invasives do, and that's why they're harmful. Uh, obviously in the Botanic Garden, we don't let it get to this state. So I wanted to bring you here so you could see what happens if it's allowed to really get going. So you have to keep your eyes out for invasives like this coral vine and try to get rid of them when they first appear, as opposed to let it get like it is behind me. So thank you for coming on this journey with me today.